So I was conducting my routine research on new AI developments and I came across this video from Stanford Online in which Andrew NG coined the phrase, AI is the new electricity. First I was like, no, it's an oversimplification. But after seven odd days of pondering, I would say he was right. But why? Why did my opinion change? For that, let me take you a few centuries back in time. Before the dawn of electricity, mankind was involved in all kinds of laborious works with just a few minor mechanical tools. I mean, before the fancy laptops we use today, we had typewriters, abacuses, and a ton of other pieces of mechanical equipment to help us achieve some kind of work. But after Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity, the way mankind lived changed forever. With his legendary kite experiment, he connected the dots between lightning and electricity, but it was Alessandro Volta who crafted a tangible foundation for this ethereal force. In the 19th century, he unveiled the voltaic pile, the first true battery, setting the stage for a continuous electric current. Around the same time, the brilliant Michael Faraday and James Clerk Maxwell made discoveries in electromagnetism, forging the very scientific bedrock upon which our modern world now stands. As the 19th century gave way to the 20th, two visionaries stepped into the spotlight, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla. Edison, the tireless inventor, gifted the world with the electric light bulb, illuminating our nights and brightening our future. Meanwhile, Tesla championed alternating current power systems, a leap that made long-distance power transmission efficient and practical. The 20th century marked the era of widespread electrification. Electricity surged through homes, industries, and the nascent transportation systems. It powered an array of electrical appliances, bringing a newfound ease to daily life. This momentum carried forward, leading to the birth of transistors, integrated circuits, and the marvel of the computer, laying the foundation for the digital age. As we stepped into the modern era, the 21st century greeted us with even greater promises. The story continued with innovation such as renewable energy sources, electric vehicles, smart grids, and the Internet of Things, all propelled by the incredible force that is electricity. Wait, I'm not making this video for telling you about the history of electricity, but listen to the next story very carefully. 1950s. The term artificial intelligence was first coined by John McCarthy and the adventure truly began. In the following decades, the AI pioneers strived to breathe life into this concept. The birth of the digital computer marked a turning point, providing the tools necessary to bring AI into existence. As the 20th century progressed, so did AI. Researchers like Marvin Minsky and Herbert Simon developed AI programs capable of solving problems and mimicking human thought processes, but limitations persisted and funding dwindled during the AI winter periods. Then, in the 21st century, a resurgence occurred. The convergence of big data, powerful computing, and sophisticated algorithms sparked the AI renaissance. Machine learning gained traction, enabling computers to learn from vast amounts of data and improve their performance over time. Companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon became AI juggernauts, investing heavily in research and development. The advent of deep learning, a more advanced form of machine learning, propelled AI to new heights. Neural networks with multiple layers emulated the human brain, allowing machines to recognize patterns and make predictions with unprecedented accuracy. Today, AI is ubiquitous. It powers virtual assistance on our smartphones, recommends our entertainment, influences our buying decisions, and even drives our cars. The possibilities seem boundless, from AI-driven medical diagnoses to precision agriculture and climate modeling. You see how interwoven both these stories are, but that was just a historic perspective. Let me dive into more aspects that will make you believe that AI is surely the electricity of this age. AI and electricity both share one remarkable commonality, their transformative image impact on efficiency and productivity. I will put that into words, like just how electricity revolutionized the industrial age, artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the digital age. One has fundamentally changed how we operate and optimized various processes, and the other is just on the same road, rewriting the history by doing it once again. Electricity became a ubiquitous and essential utility, powering industries, homes, and cities. It brought about a paradigm shift, enabling machines to do work that was once manual and laborious. People lost jobs back then, and now, with AI, people are again losing their jobs. What's pretty much happening now is that AI, fueled by vast amounts of data and computational power, is automating tasks that were previously thought to require human intelligence. With its capability to accept, process, and act upon human instructions, it is set to change our financial system once and for all. In the early stages of electricity adoption, efforts were made to maximize its efficiency through improvements in power generation, transmission, and utilization 
innovation. This parallels the current state of AI, where we are continuously striving to enhance algorithms, optimize models, and refine data processing techniques. AI's efficiency is being maximized by developing more efficient algorithms, utilizing better hardware, and implementing clever strategies to handle and process enormous volumes of data. Just as electricity brought about new inventions and innovations in diverse fields, AI is catalyzing breakthroughs in medicine, finance, transport, communication, and beyond. As if electricity was just the starting point, and now AI is taking everything toward pinpoint accuracy. Tasks that once required substantial time and effort are now completed swiftly and accurately with AI algorithms. I mean, do you still remove background of your photos using Photoshop? Do you still write 3,000 word essays yourself? Do you still schedule meetings manually? The answer is no. AI is everywhere, and its ability to analyze vast amounts of data, extract patterns, and provide insights in real time allows businesses to make informed and precise decisions. And what I am saying is that in the future, AI's efficiency will continue to evolve, much like electricity did from its early stages to the present. This evolution will usher in an era of unprecedented efficiency and productivity, where AI-powered technologies would be even closer to us than a light switch. Oh, we may have another similarity. It's the moral and ethical part. If you don't know how big of a role these implications played during the democratization of electricity, you need to listen to this. The story starts back in the late 19th century, when harnessing and democratization of electricity promised unparalleled advancements in industry, communication, and daily life. Yet amidst this rapid progress, ethical and moral concerns emerged. As cities across the globe began to electrify, a fundamental moral dilemma arose. That was, who should have access to this transformative force and how should it be distributed equitably? Electricity had the potential to improve lives, enhance productivity, and illuminate cities, but the concentration of power in the hands of a privileged few, both economically and socially, raised concerns of inequality and exploitation. In the early stages, wealthy individuals and large corporations seized control of electricity generation and distribution. They monopolized the resources and dictated prices, often at the expense of the common citizen. This consolidation of power led to a significant disparity in access to electricity between the affluent urban centers and rural or impoverished areas. Bad news? It simply didn't end there. It was further exacerbated by the exploitation of labor. Workers in power plants, often from marginalized communities, faced hazardous working conditions and meager wages. The push for rapid electrification overlooked the human cost and welfare of those responsible for generating and distributing this invaluable resource. The unrestrained use of fossil fuels to generate power raised questions about sustainability and its impact on the planet. Activists and forward-thinking individuals called for cleaner and more sustainable methods of power generation to mitigate the environmental harm. In response to these ethical and moral challenges, a wave of social and political movements emerged, advocating for the democratization of electricity. These movements emphasized the need for regulated access, fair pricing, and improved working conditions for the labor force. Progressive thinkers urged for the establishment of laws and regulations that ensured a just and equitable distribution of electricity, regardless of one's socioeconomic status or geographical location. Over time, governments and regulatory bodies began to respond to these concerns, implementing policies to level the playing field. Now, that is altogether a sad story, but don't we see the same trends in the case of AI? I mean, there are so many concerns on who may have access to AI and who should not. There are concerns about people losing their jobs, although it's not as brutal and life-taking as it was back then, but still, what kind of life can a person and live after having no source of livelihood. The raw computing power required to test AI applications requires GPUs, which produce a lot of heat and consume a lot of power, so we are again paying an environmental cost for welcoming a new innovation. Just to add to the similarities, governments are also now realizing that the pace of development of AI is a bit too quick and the world needs a little breather. That is why even Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, testified before the Congress and a letter was signed to de motivate development of AIs more powerful than GPT-4. Looking at all these perspectives gives me a sense that history is repeating. But is the future as promising as electricity? Only time can tell. But there is one thing that might help you out a little, and that is subscribing to AI Symbiosis. I've made another video on how AI isn't a new phenomenon and how it's withstood the test of time. It's popping up on your screen, so be sure to watch it now, and I'll catch you there in a second.